There are a number of factors that predict the poor survival in COPD patients. Starting from the history, general condition, comorbid conditions, and investigations like PFT. Coming to the history, if patient gives frequent or severe exacerbation, active smoking status, low exercise capacity, poor health quality of life, they are all in favor of poor survival in COPD patient. Coming to the general condition, poor nutrition, rusting tachycardia, severely dyspneic hypoxemia and anemia. Comorbid illness, if any, and a PFT showing low FEV1, low inspiratory capacity, and low DLCO, which all favor in predicting the poor survival in COPD patient. However, a prognostic indication for uh, survival in a COPD patient was very much required. And so comes the board index and the ADO index. Welcome to my channel. Today we will be discussing about this in detail. As we said, a multidimensional prognostic index was required, which takes into account several indicators of COPD prognosis. One such index is the BOD index, which includes, as the name suggests, B-O-D-E, B for body mass index, O for obstructive effect showing FEV1, D for distance, dyspnea scale, MMRC, and E for exercise intolerance, distance walked in six minutes, board index. It has points in the uh, starting from 0, 1, 2, and 3. And FEV1 more than 65 is considered normal, 0. Distance walked if more than 350, 0. MMRC scale 0 to 1. And body mass index of more than 21. However, 1, 2, and 3 are given in the difference of 15, 50 to 64. 36 to 49 FEV1 and less than 35 is grade 3. Distance walked in 6 minutes. If it is between 250 to 349, it is 1. 150 to 249, it is 2. And less than 149, it is 3. Here you can remember it as difference of 100. So uh, 350 and uh, 250 here, like that. And uh, FEV1, a difference of 15. And MMRC scale, 0 to 1 under 0. 2 under 1, grade 1, 3 under 2, and uh, grade 4 under 3. Body mass index, any weight less than 21 is given 1 point. So how do you interpret? Score, which gives a 2-year mortality. If the score is more than 7, it is given 30% 2-year mortality. Score 5 to 6 is given 15% 2-year mortality, and less than 5, less than 10 percentage two year mortality if suppose six minute walk test is not possible or not done then you can uh, assess the prognosis uh, of copd patients by doing the ado index which includes as a name suggests age dyspnea and obstruction how so how do you calculate the ado index ado index include age dyspnea and obstructive it's given points uh, comparing to board. Uh, it is given five points here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. More than 65 is considered normal. MMRC 0 to 1 is normal. Age 40 to 49 is normal. 0. It is all given 0. And uh, more than that, it is given 2, 3, 4, uh, Disney scale. Uh, FEV1 is given 36 to 64 and less than 35 is given 2 and age in the range of 10, each in the range of 10, 50 to 59, 60 to 69, 70 to 79, 80 to 89, and more than 90 is given five points. So how do you interpret? Basically, ADO ranges the score from all when you add zero to 10 points. And so each point is associated with a 42 percentage marginal increase in odds of death at three years for patients with long-standing and severe COPD patient. So that's it of ADO index and board index. Board index has 0, 1, 2, 3 points, which considers body weight, obstructive effect, uh, then uh, distance measured, and exercise intolerance. Uh, a dyspnea scale and exercise intolerance. ADO has age, dyspnea, and obstructive effect.